All right, guys, Kavasi Free here. I just want to do a quick video uh, regarding to WWE Elimination Chamber 2014. That will be, uh, you know, that's the event coming on this Sunday. Now, I just want to give you some bad news. I will not be doing the simulations on 2K14. The reason behind that is that I'm working on other projects. Um, and I'm taking some time off so I do apologize for you guys this is the very first time I'm actually not doing any simulations for a pay-per-view but don't worry because the good news is I will be doing my predictions for the pay-per-view which I will be doing now we've got seven matches uh, on the card for this event so I think this will be uh, interesting and as we all know Royal Rumble did suck and it was a bit obvious that Batista won the Royal Rumble. I did actually see the match. But good to see some surprise entrants in there. And um, hopefully Elimination Chamber. I know people said, oh, the Elimination Chamber will suck. But who knows? Maybe something could happen. So I'm going to go through my predictions now on the seven uh, matches for the event. Uh, as I'm recording it now, as you can see, it's uh, the 19th. So I'm recording this on Wednesday. So uh, here we go. First match we have is the is the kickoff, which is Cody Rose and Goldust versus Chaos Axel and Ryback. Let me just zoom this out a bit here. As now I'm doing this on my TV. Uh, Cody Rose and Goldust versus Chaos Axel and Ryback. Now, if I can actually, sorry guys, because I didn't even plan this. Just, just announced this. Uh, a couple minutes ago, to a couple friends of mine on uh, on Facebook. So if I quickly get the uh, match card itself there, and I can actually tell you why this match was announced. Well, pretty much every single match, to be honest. Uh, hopefully, uh, this video shouldn't be too long because I haven't got much uh, battery left on my camera. Just quickly. Uh, Put the charger in. Again, like I said, didn't plan this, but just want to quickly announce that I will not be doing the uh, simulations. So here's my predictions. So first of all, we got Cody Rhodes and Goldust versus Curse Axel and Ryback, the tag team match. So this was just announced out of nowhere. Uh, I do actually think that. Now, people are sp now. Let me just say, people have been uh, saying that there are rumours if Cody Rhodes and Goldust uh, will break up. Now, I don't think that. I think Cody Rhodes and Goldust have been a great team. They've been, you know, uh, Royal Rumble. They lost the tag team titles to New Age Outlaws, um, and yeah, Cody Rhodes and Goldust have been a great team ever since you know they got their jobs back and it's just it's just been amazing for them you know uh, Curtis Axel and Ryback I don't really like them as much I do like Ryback at one point but Curtis Axel I the only time where I liked Curtis Axel was just when he uh, when he debuted uh, in Continental Championship days I think some of his matches turned out pretty good but uh, as of now I don't really like Curtis Axel that much. Ryback, uh, there is something that I do like about Ryback, um, but overall, Cody Rose and Goldust I like the most. And um, yeah, I do actually think that. Now, if the rumours are true, if Cody Rose and Goldust break up, I do actually see Cody Rose and Goldust winning the match, but maybe after the match. Either Cody Rose and Goldust will attack one another and you know one of the members will turn heel. That's just my opinion. Let me guys know what you think and your predictions down below and um, we'll see what happens at the pay-per-view. Now we've got the next match and this is for the WWE Tag Team Titles which is the New Age Outlaws versus the Usos. Now... This was announced on WWE.com that the Usos will face the New Age Outlaws for the titles. 
Uh, this was made when the Usos asked the Outlaws to fight to fight them for the titles for the following weeks and then you know they accepted the challenge. I do actually see the New Age Outlaws retaining the titles. I mean I do know that Usos should get a push uh, and actually I do actually like to see the Usos win the tag titles in the future but you know the Outlaws have been new champions since the Rumble, I do actually see them retaining and going to WrestleMania and have this uh, tag title match against. I don't. I have no idea. They they could be a. Um, what's it? Oh, it's one. It's one of those matches where you got. Say, for instance, you got the New Age Outlaws versus the Usos versus Cody Rhodes and Goldust versus Ryback. Right so it could be one of them. But. Um, who knows what could happen? I do actually like to see the Usos as tag team champions in future, but in my opinion, I do actually like to see the New Age Outlaws retain. So that's just my pick. There's not not much to say about this really. Next, we got Tyus O'Neill for Stone Young, and I do apologise with that text there. There's nothing I can do. I cannot zoom out or anything, as you can see. <laughs> right. I don't know why this was announced at the pay-per-view. I mean, like, we had the same situation with Brodus Clay and Tensai, but we didn't see that announced for pay-per-view. I don't know why they actually announced this. They should actually do this on, like, Smackdown or something, but, you know, that's the way things go. So, they will be facing each other at the pay-per-view, and this feud, you know, the primetime prime -time players broke up, and um, they lost the match. Then Tyson Neal started attacking Darren Young. Uh, and Tyson Neal was claiming that Darren Young was dead weight and holding him back. So now that they broke up, Tyson Neal's got a new entrance theme. Darren Young's still got that primetime player's theme. Um, but yeah, I have no clue who's going to win. I do actually see Tyson Neal winning this match. Darren Young, on the other hand, I have no clue. I would I think I have to go with Titus O'Neill on this one, to be honest. There's not much I can say about this, because why announce this match at the pay-per-view? They could have just done this on either Raw or SmackDown, you know? I have no idea, but you know, it's just the way things go. And the next match is... The Intercontinental Championship with Big E Lunston versus Jack Swagger. Now, Jack Swagger won a fatal four way match, uh, number one contender for the Intercontinental title, in which he defeated Mark Henry, Rey Mysterio, and Kofi Kingston on SmackDown. And um, now, Jack Swagger has a title shot. I think he had I think he had a title shot before for the Intercontinental title. I'm not 100% sure. But. Um, Overall, I do actually like to see Big E retain. I think that Big E could keep the title until, well, I think Big E could keep the title just after WrestleMania. I think he'll lose it after WrestleMania against someone. When you look at, at the match card and you try to see who could Big E defend the title against, you, there isn't a lot of guys that you can actually think who could face Big E and actually win the title. Same went for Dean Ambrose. If Dean Ambrose didn't have a match, uh, you know, if Dean Ambrose didn't have a match at the pay-per-view, in which he has, because he's facing the, he's alongside um, Rollins and Reigns facing the Wyatts at the pay-per-view as well. But let's just say Dean Ambrose has defended the title in the pay-per-view for months now. I don't know what he's doing. He's just holding that title. You know, it's just sitting there. He should, he should really have a title match, Dean Ambrose. But when you look at it, the Intercontinental title and the United States title, you actually think, who can they really defend the title against? You know. But, but I digress. I do actually like to see Big E retaining. Big E could hold the title uh, until well just after WrestleMania. Jack Swagger on the other hand, it's 
good to see he's in the number one contender spot, but I don't think he'll become a champion. I think it's just going to be one of those uh, people who will just get a title shot. He, he'll try and he'll fail, you know. So, there we go. That's uh, my pick. Big E Lanston retaining the Intercontinental title. Now, our next match is, of course, like I said, The Shield versus The Wyatts. Dean Ambrose has not put his title on the line in months now. After having feuds with CM Punk and Dan Bryan, etc., etc., sure, Dean Ambrose put the title on the line against Mark Henry on Monday Night Raw, in which the Shields interfered, which I think that was just stupid, in my opinion. Uh, so, the Shield versus the Whites, this is one match which I, I, I liked seeing. Well, this has been in my fantasy matches. Obviously, we did see a little uh, interference with the with the Whites and the Shield, and he goes, "Oh, they're not going to fight. They're just going to have a stare off. Who is the better team?" And um, I might actually watch this match because I do like the Shield. I do like the Whites. It's kind of difficult for me to choose between them, but uh, let's just quickly see. Um, now, Triple H, uh, well, The Shield refused Triple H's request for the group to drop them out of the White family, disqualifying them for the Chamber match. Um, because they had a Elimination Chamber qualifying match in which what, whoever wins that match, those three participants will be added to the Chamber, in which they didn't because The Shield, um, you know, got distracted by the Whites. So, the six-man tag match between them was set up for the pay-per-view. It's hard for me to choose, because I like, I like both teams, but I do actually see the Shield winning more. So, you know, you know I think Roman Wayne, uh cannot speak today. Roman Reigns, obviously he's the guy for eliminating the most people in the Survivor Series match. He's got a new record for the most eliminations in the Royal Rumble match. So I do actually see the Shield winning this match. That's just my take. Who knows? It could be something else. It would be surprising to see the Wyatts win this match. But I do actually see the Shield winning this match. Dean Ambrose, if he didn't have this match, and he had the US title match, then I I have no clue, but I do actually see the Shield winning. Enough of this, I have to move on because I'm just going to be bragging on about Dean Ambrose and the, U and the United States title for a couple minutes now. So, like I said, I do like to see the Shield win, but if the White family wins, you know, it doesn't really bother me. Now we've got one of the matches, which I think... You know, I think this should have been a match for WrestleMania. <coughs> obviously, Batista, well, Batista, obviously winning the Royal Rumble. If he didn't win the Rumble, then I do actually see Batista versus Del Rio at WrestleMania, but Batista's got a WWE World Heavyweight Championship match at WrestleMania to whoever wins the Elimination Chamber match, in which I'll get to in a minute. So, Batista... Versus Alberto Del Rio has been announced for the chamber match, uh, elimination chamber. So Alberto Del Rio, obviously, beginning to say that fans should talk about him instead, and vowed to eliminate Batista from the Royal Rumble match. So when Batista returned, uh, you know, Del Rio won. A match against uh, Rey Mysterio, and then Del Rio got attacked by Batista and hit him with the uh, Batista bomb. And um, at the Rumble match, Del Rio ended at number 27 and lasted just under three minutes before Batista, who was the next entrant, and then elim eliminated him. And then after the Royal Rumble, um, Batista got interrupted and got assaulted by Del Rio but 
he escaped, and on the next episode of Raw, Del Rio defeated Dolph Ziggler. Batista came out and gave Del Rio Batista the bomb for the announce table, in which Triple H then announced that the two will wrestle at the Elimination Chamber pay per view. It's kind of obvious to see. It's kind of obvious who's going to win this match. Batista is the guy to win it. You know, this gives him more momentum for his uh, uh, title match at WrestleMania. So, like like we all know, it was obvious that Batista was going to win at the Rumble, which I know the pay-per-view sucked. It's obvious that Batista will win this match, and I do actually see Batista winning the match at WrestleMania. Depending who he faces, that's, that's the question. Who is Batista going to face? Which comes to my next... Uh, the next match and the final match of course so there we go Batista is my pick and the final match we have the Elimination Chamber match for the WWE World Heavyweight Championship now as we all know that Orton has been s set up in these uh, has been running the gauntlet he lost to Daniel Bryan he's lost to John Cena He's lost to Antonio Cesaro. He defeated Christian, and there was a no contest uh, for Sheamus because the Shield interfered. Now, just think about that. Orton has been defeated by Cena, Cesaro, and Daniel Bryan in a single match throughout these past couple of weeks. He's defeat. He's only defeated Christian. Sheamus, on the other hand, I do. I would have thought that Sheamus could have won, but who knows? The tables could have turned. Now, it's hard for me to choose because I, I do have this like hate, well love hate thing against Orton. You know, he's he's a talented superstar. I do. I did actually watch his uh, uh, if I can actually. Uh, the uh, Revolution of a Predator DVD, the uh, documentary side, which I thought that was interesting. Obviously, that just talks about his classic matches. Uh, Christian, uh, I don't think he'll become the uh, the champion. I know he's had matches against Del Rio. He goes one more match, but he tries and he fails. Sheamus. I know he's just returned, but I don't think Sheamus will become champion anytime soon. Cena, obviously it's the same sort of thing. Orton versus Cena, you know. How many times have we seen a match between Orton and Cena? Way too much. So, uh, Cesaro in his first ever Elimination Chamber match. I don't think Cesaro will win that. Daniel Bryan on the other, on the other hand. There could be a possibility for Daniel Bryan to win, but overall, I do actually see either John Cena becoming the new WWE World Heavyweight Champion, or Randy Orton retaining the title and going on to WrestleMania to face Batista. So, that is my pick. That's my predictions for Elimination Chamber 2014. Hope you enjoyed. Feel free to put your predictions down below. And, um,. Like I said, I apologise that I won't be doing the simulations, but there's my predictions. So, um, yeah. So, like I said, uh, Cody Rhodes and Goldust winning the uh, the kickoff. New Age Outlaws retaining the tag team titles. We've got Titus, Titus O'Neil defeating Darren Young. Um, Big E Langston retaining the Intercontinental title against Jack Swagger. Uh, the Shield defeating the Wyatts, Batista defeating Del Rio, and either either Cena or Orton winning the Chamber match and becoming WWE World Heavyweight Champion. So that's it, guys. Hope you enjoyed. I'll leave you with this now. That's the custom little uh, wallpaper that I found. So there we go. That is my predictions. Hope you enjoyed. Um, I will be doing the WrestleMania 30 simulation, so stay tuned for that. And coming soon, 
there is some surprises on 2K14, which I might do. Could be defeat the streak, could be fancy matches, you never know. But stay tuned for that. And um, we'll see you next time. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.